welcome you on board the uh, first Mil 51. This is the new uh, boat uh, at Mil Tramaran. So we've studied a very open area here. One of the uh, really invention of this boat, we've mixed a cockpit and a saloon, so we created a, a cocoon. So the boat is closed here. We've got one first door to be used when it's quite windy or cold, so it makes it makes a small entrance to go in and out the boat. When the wind is getting a little better, we can move this other door. So we've got a wider entrance and then when it's real sunny and good weather then then we open the whole doors they all collapse here and here we are in this cup loop living with a saloon so we can sit 12 people all around here with one fixed table and another cocktail table or we can lift this table up open the turn and open the this table so it becomes another one here So having the cocoon in the at midship, we've designed the galley forward. So we've got a huge area we can cook all around, and we're cooking facing the sea. So this is wonderful. And when we cook right here, we've got a perfect 360 degrees view all around. entered here the master cabin. This is one of the characteristics of the uh, Neil Tramaran. They always have one or two cabins on the main deck. So the owner can live on board, just not going up and down, just living on the, the main deck. And those cabins benefit from obviously very large windows, so very nice view while anchoring it in uh, nice spots and each cabin has got obviously a uh, shower head and sink for trident. So we're here on the uh, port float. Same thing on the uh, starboard float. We've got a uh, independent cabin, uh, 8 meters long, it's a very long cabin with king size beds here, um, very large windows and I mean it's a real kind of guest cabin but it could be also an owner's cabin, I mean it's all very big in here with shower and head forward and a sliding door enclosing the Cabin. Visiting here the forward bow cabin. Again, we've got a wide uh, king size bed, and this cabin benefits from this uh, shower and head compartment. And this bathroom here is separated from the cabin, so this compartment uh, can be used for guests as a day head and visitors or uh, friends don't have to go in one cabin to uh, go in here. So here, forward starboard, we've got the uh, chart table facing the route. So we do have our console here with all instrumentation and a perfect view um, for uh, helming the boat from the inside with the autopilot and we've got plenty of shelving for 
drawer and even a drawer here we've got a drawer on this side so it's a real desk I mean we really uh, navigate but also work or having your laptop here yeah so now we go one step down here we've got another level I've got two meters headroom here it's a real machinery uh, compartment we've got here right at midship all the heavy equipment we've got the uh, generator here we've got right centered and touching the mast bulkhead of uh, the 60 liters uh, diesel tank the 60 liters water tank and here we've got very strong shelving where we do have the battery bank we do have all the chargers and converters and, and engine batteries and on this boat we do have on both side the boiler here, all the central unit of the air conditioning, the uh, 200 liters water maker and the uh, captain here can really manage all the, the boat, I mean he's got all the water management here, hot and cold water around the boat so we can select or isolate uh, one circuit and back there we are entering uh, the engine compartment so quite big compartment very easy access around the engine here easy maintenance and back there we also have all the uh, rudder shaft arrangement where uh, it's very easy to check autopilot or the uh, textile vectron uh, ropes for the uh, water. section we've got uh, a bed we've got a head under the bed we've got a sink here and shower outside so this is the skipper arrangement when needed and on the other side is a big garage for all equipment safety gears spinnaker ropes brush I mean we need a big kind of big uh, over there. Here we look at the uh, crane for the dinghy. On the Nil 51 the dinghy is picked up uh, by this crane taking the dinghy in the water and bringing the dinghy here onto the two cradles here. So we, we sail with the dinghy on deck safely secured by uh, straps to secure the dinghy fixed on the dinghy. So the boat is delivered with a swimming ladder and shower on the uh, port hull, but as we can also have on the main hull another swimming ladder to accommodate more people. Yeah. So we are uh, here on the uh, maneuvering station. We've got the helm here, so uh, we've got a nice seat here and helming position. And we do have here all the uh, three winches, electrical winches, to do uh, one person can manage with the boat. So we've got everything here for the main cell. Thirty year briefing lines, then we've got the uh, main cell control here and all the forward uh, cells, all uh, solid, uh, working jib and spinnaker run back here to this uh, winch. And then from here we've got a very easy access to the sun deck. So 
Sunday we've got a very relaxing sitting here and so far Katami 